Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Access has a feature that allows it to connect to many different types of external data sources. You have a choice as to how you want to connect to the external data within Access. You can either import the external data into a native Access table that you create, or you can try to create a link to the source data. Depending upon the type of link that you create to the external data, you may be allowed to query, add, edit, and otherwise modify the external data as if it were a native access table, but without actually importing the data into the database. When you import external data into an access database, it is stored in one of the actual base tables in your access database. You are then free to use it just as you would any other access table. Changes made to the table are not going to be reflected in the original data source, such as the text file or spreadsheet from which you imported the data. When you create a link to an external data source, such as an SQL Server database, for example, Access does not import the table, nor does it change the type of data to which it is linked. A linked table in Access is represented by a right pointing arrow which points at an icon. The icon shown changes depending on the source data type. Linked tables are useful because the link will automatically update the data in the copy in Access with changes from the original data source so that you can work with the most current data within the linked table. Also, when you delete a linked table from your Access database, it's important to remember that you are only deleting the link or reference to the data source, not the actual linked data source itself. To either import or link external data to your database, you start by clicking the External Data tab within the ribbon. To then make a connection to the external data source, click on the button within the Import and Link group, named the Import button group in Access 2007, that shows the name of the type of external data to which you are trying to connect. Clicking any one of these buttons will then open the Get External Data wizard. This wizard will then lead you on a step-by-step -step process that will allow you to decide whether or not to import the data or link to the data, select the data source, and also save the connection if needed. Now note that the specific steps involved in the Get External Data wizard will vary slightly depending upon the type of data which you are trying to import or link to your current database. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.